Good day everyone. This is Miss Michelle Joy. I am the social studies teacher of grade 7, 8, and 9 students, bilingual program of Sarasas Pitaya School. Welcome to our week 5 online learning discussion. Let's proceed now. So class, we are now on our week 5 online learning discussion and these are the three topics for this week. Letter A, Stone Age artifacts. Letter B, Pottery artifacts. Letter C, bronze artifacts. So these are the words that we will be encountering in our next slides. Just to let you know that I have chosen these 10 words from your books. If you do not know the meaning of these words, you can always search the meaning in your dictionary or you can always Google them. If you want more explanation about these words, you can always drop me a message on our Google Classroom class and I will get back to you as soon as I can. You can always repeat after me after I read the word for your reading skills. Letter A, Stone Age. Letter B, Pottery. Letter C, Bronze Age. Letter D, Artifacts. Letter E, Spare. Letter F, Sculptures. Letter G, Bracelets. Letter H, Rattan. Letter I, Province. And letter J, Clay. As I have told you a while ago, class, you can check these words on your social studies books because I get all these words from your book. The Stone Age was a prehistoric time before metal tools, agriculture, or the domestication of animals. It was a time when humans made tools from stones and bones. The first humans to create art, such as paintings and sculptures, began around 30,000 BC. The two major art forms during this early Paleolithic period are classified into stationary and portable art. The examples of stationary art were cave paintings found in Western Europe. Portable art was small and compact. Most of these portable art pieces were small figurines or simple clay pots or bowls. Simple, functional, and portable. All activities crucial to humans, continued prosperity and well-being, such as hunting, were common themes in prehistoric art. Since Stone Age artists depended so heavily on nature, they used art to express their desires for natural abundance and protection against dangers of the wilderness. Richly colored portable figurines shaped like humans and animals were probably used for rituals that were carried out before the hunt. These figurines depicted humans gaining control over natural elements, nature herself, and animals. Fertility was another popular Stone Age theme, probably because it represented prosperity and expansion of the tribe. Stone Age figurines of pregnant women known as Venuses are common in Stone Age art. The importance of animals to ancient people can be seen in the cave paintings that feature them. Cave paintings depict animals like bears, bison, deer, horses, wild cats, and mammoths as well as power animals revered for their strength, like lions or rhinos. Many cave paintings were painted on top of one another, as if erased. Others were pierced with painted arrows or even shot at with real arrows. This suggests that these paintings were used for hunting rituals. Other common cave painting elements are human handprints, roof-shaped markings, or tectiforms, and dotted art. Stone Age artists used a mixture of two-dimensional perspectives like profile and frontal view, or they'd sometimes use a composite perspective. By blending perspectives, they made their subjects more recognizable. For example, a human leg would be painted in profile so viewers could easily identify the foot. Mixed perspectives were sometimes used to depict running animals. Cave paintings omitted landscapes, and although they included the human figure, this was actually fairly rare. Paint was applied using hands and animal hair brushes. 
Sometimes they would even use hollowed out bones to blow the paint through to spray it onto the canvas. The most common colors were red and black. Forensic analysis of artists' fossilized handprints show that men and women of all ages made cave art. The famous Mesolithic paintings from the Lascaux Caves in France feature brightly colored animals painted around 15,000 BC. Archaeologists have discovered more than 200 caves with similar paintings on their walls throughout Europe dating from around this time. The paint used by Stone Age artists was made by mixing various minerals, portions of animal bone, charcoal, and other natural elements. Artists may have used water, animal fat, and even blood as the mixing medium for these colors. This curious amalgamation of materials prompts some researchers to believe that Stone Age paintings were geared towards the spiritual, serving as aids to protection rituals, celebrations, or other religious rites. The period towards the end of the Stone Age is known as the Neolithic period, and it took place between 8000 and 2000 BC. During the Neolithic age, artists began painting new surfaces, including their clay pottery, sculpture, and even new plastered buildings they had made. Neolithic people built the first permanent architectural structures, which included houses, temples, towers, monuments, and tombs. The most famous Stone Age structure is Stonehenge, featuring the post and beam constructs typical of the time. There are many theories about Stonehenge's original purpose. It may have been used as a meeting or celebration site, or an astronomical calendar. Whatever the purpose of their art, there is little doubt that it was important to the people of this age because they invested so much passion and effort in creating these seemingly eternal masterworks of art. The Stone Age legacy would lead to further development in art, language, agriculture, and government in the world's first civilization in Mesopotamia. So class, we are now on our week 5 online learning discussion and our first topic for this week is about Stone Age. So in Stone Age, we have three periods. Number one, Paleolithic period. Number two, Mesolithic period. And number three, Neolithic period. So during Paleolithic period, Human beings started to settle near rivers and lakes, meaning to say they started to live near rivers and lakes. They were still nomadic. When you say nomadic, these are people that move from one place to another place. Most of the art cave paintings are found in France and Spain. Some of the first tools human use were made during this period. So during Paleolithic period, People live near rivers and lakes. They are still nomadic. Next, let's go to Mesolithic period. During the Mesolithic, humans learned to hunt in groups and to fish. And then they began to learn how to domesticate animals and plants. Mesolithic art is geometric with a restricted range of colors dominated by the use of red ochre. So class, in Mesolithic period, they started to hunt in groups and to fish, and then they started to domesticate animals and plants, of course, for their survival. And the last one is Neolithic period. Humans were settling themselves down into agrarian societies. When you say agrarian societies, they started to plant more and began to explore some key concepts of civilizations, namely religion, measurement, architecture, writing, and art. So basically, um, now we are still living or we are still on the way of uh, Neolithic period people because uh, they started to become civilized during this period. They started to write during this period. They started to uh, do some architecturing during this period class. And up to now, we are still doing these things. 
So class, let's continue with our topic about Stone Age artifacts found in Suvarnabhumi. I'm sure you know what is the meaning of Suvarnabhumi in English. It means the Golden Land. And yes, the Golden Land is found in Thailand. So there are so many artifacts that were found in Thailand. And let me name it to you. So number one, his pair and arrow heads. They were made of bone. And they were found in Kanchanaburi province. The second artifacts that were found in Thailand were axe heads made of stone. The third one, we have buffalo sculptures made up of clay. And these sculptures were found in Udon Thani province. And the last one, we have fishing hooks made of bone also found in Thailand in Chonburi province. So these are just some examples of artifacts that were found during the Stone Age in Suvarnabhumi in the Golden Land. So class, our second topic for week 5 online learning discussion is about pottery artifacts found in Suvarnabhumi. If you say Suvarnabhumi, the meaning of this word in English means the golden land, and yes, that is in Thailand. So these were the following artifacts, pottery artifacts that were found in Suvarnabhumi or the golden land. The first one, we have clay bead bracelets, and these bracelets were found in Bancheng in Odontani province. The second one, we have rattan design clay pot found in Odontani province once again. And then the third one, we have tripod clay pot found in Kanchanaburi province. And the last one, we have clay serving spoon found in Bancheng, Odontani province. So out of the four pottery artifacts that were found in Suvarnabhumi, the three Artifacts were found in Bancheng, Odontani province. And there is only one which is tripod clay pot found in Kanchanaburi province. So class, the last topic that we have for our online learning week 5 is about Bronze Age artifacts found again in Suvarnabhumi or in English, the Golden Land. So we have again four Bronze Age age artifacts that were found in Thailand. The first one is a bronze fishing hook found in Bancheng Odontani province. The second one, bronze axe heads found in Bancheng province in Odontani. The third one, we have bronze spare heads found in Bancheng in Odontani province again. And the last one, bronze bracelets found in Bancheng, Odontani province. So all of these four Bronze Age artifacts that were found in Suvarnabhumi or the Golden Land were found in Bancheng in Odontani province. So I think many of the people that lived in Stone Age resided in Odontani province, particularly in Bancheng because there were so many kinds of artifacts, Stone Age artifacts, and bronze artifacts, and we have pottery artifacts that were found in Odontani province. So I believe, and based on the facts that we have, the information that we have, many of the artifacts that were found in Thailand were basically from Odontani province. So class, we now come to the end of our online learning discussion for week 5. And this is the activity I'm going to give you this week. As you can see class, every week for our online learning discussion, I am giving you activity so that I will be able to know if you fully understand our topic. And I hope that you do. So read the story about the Stone Age and answer the following questions, which are the following. What did people eat during the Stone Age? The second one, how many parts is the Stone Age split in two? The third one, what was the period called when the sheets of ice covered the earth? And the last question, what do you think it means when you domesticate animals? I hope you can answer this class. Good luck! 
So class, that is the end of our online learning discussion for week 5 and I hope that you did understand our topic for this week. I can't wait to see you guys next month. Stay safe. Bye everyone!